very wrong. Are you mixing no. it? Constantly. All right, guys, so um, I got the feedback from our first episode, and the main note for your show is that uh, we talk over each other too much on the podcast. That's not fair, okay? At Steve's. I just think that if we're organic. I, I kind of see like where they're coming from. Maybe there's a little bit more breathing room in the future. Yeah, okay. you guys are right. The podcast is perfect and it cannot be improved upon. Next up, uh, Lee, somebody said that the pink hair and the Nevertheless She Persisted shirt are kind of canceling each other out. Do you want to just pick one or? Ah, nah. I'm gonna do both. Yeah, that's what I thought. I figured that. That works for you. Yeah, right? both. Oh, the more the Virgin Marrier, I always say. What's a virgin? Finally, somebody just said they're worried we're only going to be a nostalgia play. <laughs> ben? Thoughts? Hop on my fantasy bed! What is that, a copy machine? <laughs> Hello! It's me, copy machine. Y'all thought you could escape me, huh? You thought you could just question me out of existence, make me go all poof. Well, guess what, honeys? You couldn't silence me then, and you can't silence me now. Back then, some idiot put a copy machine seven feet away from where you were she. I don't understand why I'm over there. They were having a difficult time focusing because they've grown so bored and complacent with their jobs that any outside noise broke the monotony of their corporate hellhole. For example, myself, a sassy little copy machine was just minding his own business percolating to the sub. What? Is that a blatant ripoff of Saturday Night Live? Live from New York, it's Saturday Night! All right, ready guys? Hey, welcome to your show! Yay! Uh, my name is Ellie, this is Steve, Lee, Joe. This is a show where we take questions and comments, we have sketches, we have news segments, all sorts of fun stuff. And we call it your show because we get all the questions and all the comments and all the ideas and prompts and motivation from you, lovely folks, and primarily the lovely folks over at our Patreon at patreon.com slash the valley folk. We could not do any of this without no, like you, actual, so thank literally. you. Literally. We're gonna dive right in, you ready? Oh, I'm ready. So Harvey dared us to call a hair salon, but we all have to talk at the same time <laughs> to try to make... Yes! To try to make yes. a, an appointment. Yes! Can I hold it in between all of, of us? Of course yeah, he wants yeah. to hold it in between all of us. So let's make sure we give her them time to speak to. Sure, yeah. Joe doesn't like it. Be real quiet too, don't yell like I did. Yes, hi. hi. Uh, uh, we'd, we'd like, like to make, to an, make appointment. an appointment. How's your day going? Uh, yeah, when do you like to come in? Are you um, open are you today? today? What, what kind of availability do you have maybe, today? Like maybe next four? Wednesday? Mm -hmm. Yes. What time do you like to come in? What uh, do you have available? Yeah. Yeah. Can you just tell me what you have available today? I'm pretty free all day. Can you hold on for one second because something wrong with my phone? I, I hear something in the background. Absolutely. Yeah, no yeah, problem. That's fine. Thank you so much. Close to the mic. Hello? Yes. yes. Oh, Can fine. you hear Sorry. us? Okay, so what time do you like to come in? Do you I have any available today? Well. That would be great. Okay, great. So, great, um, what about do you also love do, you, if you do, do, like do you pedicures and manicures you just a gel? for couples? Uh, the manicure and pedicure, twenty nine dollars. That's oh, that's not one hundred dollars price. That's yeah. better you than the one hundred dollars. You guys are you running any specials right now? What time? Wow, wow, wow! I feel like wow. That makes the most sense. Could I call you back right now? I have to hang up on you and I call you back because I cannot see you. The background really. No, absolutely. You can call me back. Um, uh, just call me back at nine, 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 nine. All right, we're done. <laughs> <laughs> we lost you. <laughs> Imagine how surreal that must have been. Where it was so many voices, and then it was just one voice at the end. Nine, 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 nine. nine. <laughs> What a great fit! Thank you so much. Who put that? Harvey. 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 Nice work. Uh, Harvey. Harvey. Good to our patrons and also good to this segment where we did this. Hello, welcome back to Your World Today. I'm Lee Newton. And I'm Elliot C. Morgan. And yeah, the C stands for condescending. Our top story this week. Oh, we only have one camera. Oh. Our top story this week is pizza. Papa John's founder says he regrets stepping down after using the N-word in a conference call. Claiming he's not a racist, he was simply reiterating something that Colonel Sanders once said. No word yet from Ronald McDonald, that dirty drunk Irish oh, oh. Nope, a new study links hot dogs to an increase in mania, symptoms of which include a heightened mood, increased energy, and arousal, which explains all of my family reunions. 
A Tennessee man was arrested after he ditched his date halfway in, stole her car, and then immediately took another girl on the date. Heroes walk among us. The girl became suspicious after she realized the car smelled of total asshole. An Australian man spent 10 months in jail after he had sex with a horse, but he claims that the horse actually gave consent after he sniffed his crotch and winked at him, which just goes to show there's two sides to every story, you know? <laughs> Do you think they were like, neighbors? <laughs> No, I don't. Do you think he was like, hey, and the horse was like, hey? Like, like, straw, straw bales. Okay. I don't think horses can talk. <clears throat> you think they did it horsey style? This is how fake news happens. Speaking of fake news, Donald Trump is in hot water after he sided with Russia over U.S. intelligence. Trump claims that he misspoke. When he said would, he meant wouldn't. You know what? I'm actually, I'm just going to show you what I'm talking about. Uh, he just said it's not Russia. I will say this. I don't see any reason why it would be. And here's a clip of Trump's explanation. In a key sentence in my remarks, I said the word would instead of wouldn't. It makes perfect sense. It makes perfect sense. Needless to say, both sides of the aisle are frustrated. Here to comment further is Donald Trump's personal PR fixer, Chuck Brandon. Hey. Hi, thanks for having me. I'm Chuck Brandon. All right, first off, look, this whole wood, wooden thing, I just want to say was not first on our list to get this guy out of this mess, all right? He just doesn't listen. We thought about saying he had a stroke, but we have to save that for the big one. Well, this isn't the big one. You'll know when it's the big one. Okay. This Russia thing, this, this light treason, please. It was just supposed to be a simple PR fix. Oh, oh, why don't you just tell us what happened, okay, Ben? I mean, look, we told him to blame someone else. Immigrants, women, Hillary. Well, Hillary is a woman. So. Lizard woman. Okay. Look, Wood Wouldn't was all the way at the bottom of the list because we like to save jokes for the end. Kind of like I assume you guys are handling this segment. Hurtful. He chose confusing Wood with Wooden out of a hundred other distractions on the whiteboard. And I swear to God, I looked at him in his watery elder juice eyes and I said, Mr. President, no! You choose something else. Like number three, release the UFO files. Number four, secret military base on the moon. Or you know what? Pull a Gerald, trip, fall, hit your head, get a little loopy. <laughs> you know, Chuck, at, at any point during this, did you think maybe just tell the president to believe U.S. intelligence? You know, Lee, I did. Oh, okay. And you know what he said? Hmm. He said that belief itself is actually objective and that we're all blind to our own desires except through brief glimpses afforded to us by our own actions. He said to believe in something, whether supported by proof or opinion, is to undermine the current of oneness that connects us all. Oh my god, President Trump said that? <laughs> no. He burped, said he hates the Jews, and farted on an intern. Here it is. Oh no. Hey big guy! Oh, is somebody being mean to you? It's the president, I gotta go. Oh wow, okay. Chuck Brandon, everyone! Wow. God, that's so sweet of him to come in. Absolutely. He's doing the Lord's work. And that does it for us here at Your World Today. I'm Elliot C. Morgan, and we're all just talking at each other. I'm Lee Newton, and as always, I quit. Okay, well, you want to get lunch? Or no? oh, what are you thinking? I'm thinking Papa John's. Good God. So good. Fresh and green. Melania's body double? What do you mean she's missing two? Okay, this is actually really beautiful and wonderful, and I'm just so happy, Autumn, that you exist in the world. Uh, Autumn Johnson, can Steve? Do some puppet work? Uh, I hate puppets. I kind of, I don't know. I don't really do it much anymore. <laughs> da, 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 da. Oh. Hola! Hola, Valley Ball! How are you? Is this How are you? Ernesto. Yes, it's um, me. He's our newest employee. No, sé. I don't know what that is. I hire to clean. No, I no, want no, hire to not. clean. Clean, 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 clean. Ernesto, we didn't actually hire you to clean. Yeah, so, no, no we didn't. It was, what? we. I had emails that say. Please come in and clean the no, uh -huh. no, no, I think you're wrong about that. We do not say. We actually, we said we don't want to hire you for cleaning because it could look bad just from a, like a- HR, PR yeah, standpoint, yeah, so. Not. You are so much, uh, that's- uh, uh, No, 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 no. I, I, I like what you say. It's very nice, but I clean. So I'm going to keep doing that. Okay, uh, no, 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 no. Uh, yeah. Well, why don't you tell them a little bit about yourself? What, what's, where do, you, where do you come from? Oh, I clean. <laughs> I, I just, I, I kind of feel who like. Who scrubs a couch? <laughs> Someone who's thorough. <laughs> <laughs> I'm here in Los Angeles, California at the beautiful Greek theater to see Kids Bop Live. Let's go talk to some dads and see how f***ing upset they are to be here.
What's your name? Pedro. Pedro. Pedro, are you here for Kids Bop Live? I am, I am. Are you a big fan? Uh, they are, so I, by association, I am. If you're such a huge Kids Bop fan, name three albums. Uh, Kids Bop 37, 38, 36, 35, 34. Are you excited for the show at all? Uh, sure. <laughs> Where'd you get your sandals? Where'd I get my sandals? <laughs> my what? Your sandals. I got them uh, at the surf shop. You and your sandals enjoy the show. What's your favorite Kids Bop song? Um, trying to check out the kids or looking for, what are you looking for, some kids? or How excited are you for Kids Bop? <laughs> Dripping in fairness. Well, you don't have a copy. That's a copyright problem. We can't do that. If you want to be my lover, you got to get, what about take on me? What about, uh, we are the champions. My dad didn't love me enough to bring me to anything like this. What's your favorite thing about Kids Bop? I don't know anything about it. Same. <laughs> hey, now it's time for my favorite parts of the show, pizza. Pizza. <laughs> pizza. Pizza. <laughs> pizza. 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 You know I hate pizza because I only eat like corn bread. My Lord Pizza, come to me, please, Lord Pizza. Please, I pray to your pepperones and your hot, greasy cheese. Do you worship our Lord and Savior, Pizza? Yeah. Pizza. Hi, Pizza. 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 Yeah. You gonna spend a lot of money tonight? Yes. Hell yeah, man. Kids bop. <laughs> I'm really, re I'm kind of regretting coming to this. All right, guys, well, it's time for us to go inside the theater and watch the kids pop. Come along with me. I can't wait. What a time to be alive. Adults and children lined up for food and drinks, mostly drinks, so that the parents could endure the insanity that was Kids Bop 2018. In between songs, the audience went nuts over f***ing beach balls. Moms and dads dashing aggressively towards the balls, flailing their arms, screaming, yelling, my ball, my ball, yelling, give me the g damn ball. Dads grabbing them aggressively so their children could get their dirty hands all over the balls. Moms sacrificing their arms and legs. Moms, 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 pizza, moms, moms, pizza, moms pizza, and dads, pizza, dads, pizza, dads, pizza, dads, dads, Mommy, mommy, dads, please, dads, please dads, I want the ball, pizza, I want pizza, the ball, pizza, mom. Pizza, pizza. As the dust settled, the show went on, children dancing on stage tirelessly for hours. Parents losing steam, children napping in the bleachers. I couldn't help but think back to the fondest memories of my evening before the torturous event that was the concert itself. It was an experience I won't soon forget, mostly because it was a goddamn nightmare. But at the end of the night, I realized that this garbage brings happiness to so many children, so many children whose heads will explode once they realize the explicit versions of these songs exist. So guys, that's it, the show's over, it's time to go home. I couldn't be happier, I don't wanna be here anymore. This was a nightmare for me. Back to you guys in the studio. All right, next question. Ah. From longtime listener, Baxwell. Baxorn! Dominic Lobo, everybody. Huh. Baxorn says a lot, get ready. Oh, Recently, oh a woman goes. who was an arson suspect was live streaming literally 
being chased by the police. I would love to get your thoughts on this. Also, in general, what do you think of when people stream or record stupid illegal stuff? I.e., there was the other story where someone robs a gas station and later brags on Facebook. The police, of course, locate and arrest that person. Does technology encourage people to do stupid things, or is it just that people find new stupid ways of using technology? Even Pokemon Go has its fair share of people falling and getting hurt while chasing Pokemon. Also, most recently in the news, a father and son literally attacking another player because the other player caught the Pokemon they wanted. Goodbye. Did you hear that? Yeah, I could It just once it happened, I could I not hear anything, hear anything else. else. Joe, we, we don't. We missed Joe, a lot. Of that. As your friend, oh, so you can. Oh, you go ahead. I, yeah, you I go just ahead. maybe it's better for me. It's better maybe. Oh, well, yeah. I did a thing. Man. Joe, you, we love you, Joe. We love you we so all much. Love you, we love you. We do. Yeah, we love, love you. you. Truly, you're one of my favorite people on this planet. You, you said the word brag like. Brags. You said brags. Like said we're brags. going too fast, we better hit the brags. The brags. <laughs> Did I? Yeah, you were like, when someone brags about it. Cool. Can we get a replay? <laughs> Robs a gas station and later brags on Facebook. Brags on Facebook. Brag, 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 brags on Facebook. Joe hates, be, his, Joe hates when he says words that we call him out for. He hates them. <laughs> I don't and hate it. And it's always the same. This is my impression, Joe, of you anytime somebody calls you out for saying something different, you go, I like that? Brags. Brags. This is like a what do you guys say? Brags. Brags. Oh, brags. Okay. Brags. Oh, brags. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, brags. Okay, I got it. <laughs> um, well, I, look, I have one, I have a really embarrassing one I used to say all the time, and Owen made fun of me a lot for saying it. When I used to say won, like you won a contest, I used to say won. You won a contest? You won a contest. You're so yeah. good. You're an idiot! You're so Stupid! Talk right! Talk right! Talk right! Oh, this is nice. It worked out well for me. All right, everybody, thank you for watching this episode of your show. Oh. Guys, look at how beautiful our set looks. That's because of our good friend Matthew Griffith who oh. helped us light this thing. And also, Kevin Plackey's behind Kevin the camera. Kevin. Guys, Kevin, Kevin welcome to the team. Five. Come on over here. Okay. Give a little, give a little and wave. And that's it. Now go back to the camera. Okay. So thank you for coming. Right. Thank doing? you to our patrons. Thank you to everybody that clicked on this link and watched. Um, go to dftba.com. Uh, search the Valley Folk. You can find our shirts, our oh, pins. Yeah. You can find our decals. If you want to help support this show and be part of it, please go to patreon.com slash the Valley Folk and consider becoming a supporter of this thing. Uh, lots of cool perks there, including early podcasts, oh, full video podcasts, bloopers from episodes like these. This is That's where they're going to exclusively live. Video? from us um, extra videos live streams all that stuff so um please come be a part of the all of it and um you guys did i leave anything out yeah no I'll did it? one more thing dinosaur all why all the dinosaurs <laughs> and, and it, well, we'll see you next time your show e. <laughs> i almost want to call her back though and just be like hi i'm so sorry uh, uh I, earlier i don't know what happened nine, but, nine, 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 nine. Oh I had so much more fun with that than I should have. <laughs> I thought I was going to hate it. I loved it. Thank I'm God so... for language barriers. <laughs> wow. Yeah.